Welcome to Real Stories. I'm Jennifer Adams. Well, it's too early for ads, so firstly tonight, if you're a celebrity, the public seeing a homemade video of you having sex can do wonders for your career. But these celebrity sex tapes are not as homemade as you might think. They're perfectly planned, and tonight we meet Australia's most critically acclaimed celebrity sex tape director, Andre Jamison. I've worked with all the A-lists. I, I can't name names, obviously. That, that would be immorally unethical. But I'll give you a clue, for one, if you want. Her name is a capital city in France and rhymes with Farris. But that's... The, it's Paris Hilton. But that's, that's all you'll get out of me. For Andre Jamison, the making of a celebrity sex tape is a fine art and requires months of preparation. That's why they're not going to expect, uh-oh, who's this? Her twin sister. She just I want my actors to know in their head everything they're going to say. I mean, you, you can't be in the middle of a scene and, and be saying, oh, you look so good. I, I wish I could eat my breakfast, lunch and dinner off your... Mm, I'm sorry, I've forgotten. Can we go again? No, you can't, Colin Farrell. You can't. You just ruined that take. Currently looking at making a sex tape with Andre is former Big Brother and Neighbours star Blair McDonough. Guided by his manager, Dennis Klein. Uh, can you fix him up, mate? I forgot my wallet. This is an excellent idea. I mean, people are going to see him in a whole different light. Yeah, but I'm not sure whether I want to do a, a porno. It's not a porno. It's a sex tape. All right? You can't do nightclub appearances your whole life. This will make your career. <laughs> Blair, you look incredible. You look incredible. <laughs> the man. You've been working out? The this main is... man. Do you want a drink? Soy chai? No. Soy chai? Three soy chais. Thanks, Brianna. Three soy chais. No, we'll have one. Yeah, well, Dennis spot. thinks this is a good idea, and... I'm a little bit nervous, but apparently everybody's doing it. And Andre's supposed to be the best director as well, so... I mean, getting caught being drunk in public can only take you so far, can't it? OK, now B. Can I call you B? Call him Blair. OK, Blair. Perhaps you've seen some of my other work. I can't name names, but she's a hotel heiress, her father's a billionaire... Oh, Paris, really? Oh, can't say. <laughs> my lips are sealed, but, yeah, it's Paris Hilton. I'm so excited to be shooting Blair. If I could make a lovemaking tape for any of the ex-BB housemates, Blair would be my number three. He'd be my number three, to be honest. The hot dogs would be first, and then Gordon, donkey boy, second. That would be great. But you've got to trust me, OK? You've got to trust me like, like you trusted Saxon in the Big Brother house. No, he wasn't even mine. All right, well, like you trusted Gretel. Trust me like no, that. No, we, we didn't get along, mate. Whatever. I don't mind. Just think of someone you trust. Trust me like that. Soy chais. All right, soy chais. I love these things. Everyone have one. Good for your prostate. <coughs> if you're going to make a lovemaking tape, you've got to use a professional up. director. And I'm not saying that to advertise myself here. If I was doing an ad, I'd, I'd say, go to andrejamison.com. I'm the best there is, no doubt. But that's not what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just saying, you've got to use a professional director. Another person trying to boost their profile using a sex tape is former Wheel of Fortune host Steve Oemke. Here's my vision. We build the Wheel of Fortune wheel in your room. You start with your pants down and your Johnson out. Give the wheel a big spin and the wheel's like selecting and slapping against your member as it goes around. And we're watching that and it's slowing down. Slowing, slowing and lands on mystery prize. And that's the opening shot. What do you think? To be honest? Love it. Love it. Brilliant. All right, Love let's it. make a film. Beautiful. Oh, all right. So I've had fun? sex tapes done for a lot of my clients. It's a surefire way of getting their face out there. I mean, unfortunately, not everyone saw Series 1 of Big Brother. And four and a half years of Neighbours. Um, well, three, three good years. Whatever the case may be, sex tapes work. OK, here's my vision, right? This is genius. Broke back Blair. Right, shoot for the pink doll. A lot of fans, a lot of potential. In the pink market. Um, you definitely wouldn't do it with a guy? That's a definite? No. Okay. I'm not Peter Jackson. Not yet. But I would say that I'm eerily similar to him. And just like PJ, I've got to make sure, I've got to know that my film has a triumphant ending. <clears throat> I want to see your Oscar moment. <laughs> you mean like my orgasm face? That's it. Let's see it. Can't. No, Blair, this... I don't think you're understanding me. This is like when King Kong dies. You know, this is your moment of cinematic triumph. Just release yourself. Feel free to be vulnerable. Action. Shh. It's perfect.
perfect. It's brilliant. Well done. That's it. Triumphant. How are you feeling? Yeah. You didn't actually go there, did you? No, no. That's how realistic okay. it was for me. That was amazing. Brianna, we need two soy chais. After yeah. such a huge okay, build-up, how did Blair's big let's day go? It was a very intellectually stimulating shoot today. It reminded me very much of being on a Quentin Tarantino film set, if I'd ever been on one. I made it very clever, on purpose. Hi, I'm your captain. Welcome to Blair Force One. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's do it. Let's shoot it for real. Everybody off set. We'll yeah, I've done it again. Check and if you're famous, I can do it for you too. AndreJamison.com. But am I the Spielberg of the celebrity lovemaking video world? <laughs> Maybe. Probably. I suppose. Yep. Yeah. Real Stories can't show you the Blair McDonough sex tape, but I've seen it. And between you and me, yeah, it's, it's good. Still to come, the groundbreaking surgery that made young love possible. You know, some people get bloody medals and stuff for putting an ear on a mouse. I mean, what's that? I turned a dog into a man.